My name is Jim Hawkins. This island of Portobello is my home. Most people would say it's not a fit place to bring up a young English lad of gentle breeding, but if you'll take a boy's word for it, Portobello is the most wonderful place in the whole world. Where else would you find a town whose every other citizen is a pirate? Yes, I know. Decent folks throw up their hands at mention of the words pirate or, or buccaneer. But I don't find all pirates are bad. Some of them are just different from, from folks who get up and go to bed and eat their meals in safety their whole lives. Long John Silver is a pirate. He is also my guardian. People find this hard to believe, but I tell them Long John is good. You needn't take just my word for it. Sir Henry Strong, governor of Portobello, must feel the same way, or he never would have put me in Long John's custody. The governor wasn't too sure about it at first, but when he remembered how Long John had saved my life, he gave in. Anyhow, he wasn't just turning me over to Long John alone. My other guardian is Miss Purity Pinker. She owns the Cask and Anchor Tavern. I live at the Cask and Anchor. to let me down. Miss Purity looks hard on anybody that ill-treats her employees. Don't they feed you in that low-class tavern? I do feed us. Uh, three times a day. I'm only working up a keen appetite, looking at some pork pies, sausages, and pasties like Miss Purity used to make. How is Miss Purity, Iron Hand? She's very well, thank you, and as busy as busy can be she is. She still makes the best pork pies in town, and the savoury smell from the kitchen at the cask and anchor would fair make your mouth water. I remember how it was. Ooh. I've got one of her pies right here in this basket, on its way to the Reverend Monaster's table. One of Miss Purity's pies? <laughs> Not that one of Long John's crew would be interested. It's the honest truth. I've not clapped eyes. On a pie like this, since Long John left the cask and anchor. Long John's going has left the cask and anchor a sad place. <laughs> Miss Purity salts the food with her tears. And a few customers left are looking for more cheerful places to drink their grog in. It hurts me. It hurts me to see Miss Purity like that. Hers is the best food in Portobello. Why did they have to quarrel? Because Long John's a loudmouthed ruffian and doesn't know how to treat a lady. Hey, you wouldn't be saying that if the captain were about. A man who really wanted to live at the cask and anchor could reason with Long John. Tell him to apologize to Miss Purity. I'd like to see that done. Don't you know somebody that could take Long John to task? Me? <laughs> No. Besides, it wouldn't be right. Long John be as much hurt as Miss Purity. Oh, evening, Mr. Patch. You're right welcome, Mr. Patch. Nuggins. The baking table. But we mustn't keep Captain Silver waiting. We are making money at last. Every night I praise that the quarrel between Long John Silver and... Shh, and a certain female goes on forever. It ain't natural. Long John and his men always patronise the cask and anchor. And, and, 
And this, it, it ain't natural. And what ain't natural ain't gonna end good. Oh, oh, come in, Captain Silver. Come in. Ah, so be next Christmas. Ah, 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 ah. Ah. I'll not back down. Purity eater insults, or no man jackhopper sets foot in her tavern again. Samo! Come in, Captain Silver, come in. Like the end of the world. Long John oughtn't to have called Miss Purity stupid. Up until he did that, it was just like any other row between them. A pleasure to listen to. At long last, I've a tavern that caters to the respectable trade. Yeah, so respectable, they all stay at home. Sounds pretty lively, don't it, Miss Purity? Sounds like they'd be stopping outside. Customers. The sign outside said this be the cask and anchor. And the sign speaks true. From the tales of this place I've heard, from end to end of the Spanish main, She's uncommonly empty this night. Aye, and with good cause. I've closed me doors to all who speak fair of that one-legged devil called Long John Silver. <laughs> Silver, eh? <laughs> in the old days, I sailed with Silver and found him the scurviest villain unhung. Well, that qualifies you for a berth at the cask and anchor. <laughs> Captain Redbeard's the name. Uh, master of the good bark, jolly witch. And you'll be the famous Miss Pinker. Famous, you say? Well, famous for what? <laughs> Sweet woman, Linda. <laughs> but looking at you face to face, I, I'd say the reports don't do you justice. Iron Hand, all of you, serve the wants of these gentlemen. Make yourselves at home. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, yes, sweet woman, and this is like manner to a sailor fresh from a long stretch at sea. <laughs> well, thank you, Captain Redbeard. And as a reward for your good heart and fair words, I make you free of the best booth in the town. Ah. <laughs> Formerly occupied by that swivel tongued villain, Silver. <laughs> And then Miss Purity told him to use your booth. My booth? Aye, and make free use of it, she said. Treason! Crew of the faith from fall in! <laughs> Redbeard's making Long John's booth his quarterback. <laughs> to the cask and anchor, boiling parties! Fight, you swab! Hear 
me out. Fight, I see. From all I hear, you're in need of a shipmate. A shipmate as knows the ways of the weaker sex. <laughs> Parties of pride takes a powerful lot of healing, Barbecue. What be your interest in healing me? The last time we met, you swore you slit my throat. Ah, it is least be a friend as your enemy. Besides, I can do you a favor. Ah, by getting out of here. No, by straightening things out between you and Miss Purity. <laughs> I'm wise in the ways of womanhood, mate. Be this to just show your black jealousy of the wench. Be masterful like I am. That way to come fawning. A, a bat, I say. Meet me aboard your ship an hour from now and I'll prove it to you. In the meantime, be masterful. Masterful. Aye, and indifferent. Indifferent and masterful. Maybe you're right. Ahoy there. Crew of the faithful, ahoy! Stand by to shove off. But some of the swabs are still breathing, Lord what John. you say? Arr, and jump to it when I gives you an order. <laughs> you let my tavern you and your scurvy crew? You can inform the proprietress that uh, it were a wreck before she ever lost. Uh, uh, watch your tongue in the presence of a lady. You're welcome to her presence and this here booth. <laughs> uh, good evening. White. She'll be coming to me begging forgiveness. I don't think so, Long John. Well, I... I can't strike me colors now, lad. Longing for a knight in shining armor. 
Duchess might rescue her from a dragon. Her, well, there ain't no dragons in these here waters. <laughs> Nay. But if some scurvy marauding pirate were to abduct Miss Purity for the ransom, and Long John were to rescue her, you mean you'd do the abducting? <laughs> I could be hired for a consideration. How much? Five hundred crowns. Sir, not for you or the old of your scurvy ship. Uh, <laughs> what be the plan? That be dead man's bay. <laughs> I'll sail my ship into the bay and drop anchor. Uh, I'll leave some of my boys in town when I sails to capture Miss Purity. They'll bring her to Dead Man's Bay where you and your crew will be waiting. Just as they be loading her onto the longboat, you comes charging to the rescue. Uh, uh, like, like a knight in shining armor. <laughs> Here, we'd better not tell our crews about this, because a Miss Purity might get to know. Ah, she won't. Oh. When's it to be? Tomorrow night. I sail at sunset. My boys take Miss Purity at eight o'clock sharp. Be at Dead Man's Bay afore nine. Uh, rendezvous at nine. <laughs> <laughs> we'll grab the wench and everything she owns worth stealing. <laughs> and get clear away with Silver and his crew hiking halfway across the island the wrong way. <laughs> And here's the best part of it all. We'll get off with Silver's horde into the bargain. <laughs> Why don't you tell us what we're hidden at for dead men's paper? Aye. Aye. You know soon enough, mates. Uh, Penner, you stand guard while we're away and uh, keep your eyes open. <laughs> it's nearly eight, Jim. Best your bed down early. Oh, the place seems like a tomb now that Captain Redbeard sailed at sunset. Good night, Miss Purity. Good night, lad. Sleep well. seen him, I ain't seen no one. I've got to find him. Oh, maybe he's aboard his ship. John's strong box. 
And Long John? Gone. Dead man's bay. You black-hearted villain! You reckon without Long John Silver! When he hears of your treachery, and here they will, he'll come to my rescue. <laughs> like a knight in shining armor. Aye. <laughs> Miss my letter in on the joke, eh, squeeze box? You've been played for a fool. You and your stupid silver. He's the one what helped me hatch this plan. <laughs> you mean this is just a joke? <laughs> Triggered by jealousy. <laughs> then why did you take me jewels? That's the joke that's on you. The joke on Silver is that he and his crew are hiding at Dead Man's Bay, waiting to rescue you. <laughs> Whilst I've taken the strong box from his deserted ship. <laughs> And now for Broken Finger Point. <laughs> Here we are. We locked them up. All get Captain Silva. Here you Snipe hunters, this Long John. We chasing ghosts. I'm hungry. How long are we going to stay here? Aye. And what for? Long John. Play. Long John. That's Jim. Ahoy there. Over here, lad. Long John, Miss Purity's been kidnapped. <laughs> it's just a joke we be playing, Jim. I saw them take Miss Purity. They were hurting her. They took all her jewels. Well, uh, that's to make it look more real. It was real. Yeah, what sort of hanky panky's this? Well, I told you this is just a little joke that uh, uh, Redbeard and I be having again, Miss Purity. But Long John, two of his men stole your strong box. What? Stole your gold in it. I had a cart waiting to take it to Broken Finger Point. My gold! It's safe. I had them arrested. Broken Finger Point? We, we'll never get there before the tide. Either. I took their cart. It's waiting on the road. Ah, good lad. Follow me. Here. <laughs> the swabs that went for Silver's hoard. They should be here by this. I am watching the tide. Maybe they stuck trouble aboard the faithful. Your knight in shining armor. Your tin horn dragon slayer. Redbeard told me everything. Get out of my sight. Go on, get out of my way. Right. But don't you see, Purity? He only did it because he loves you. Long John. The old dragon slayer. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go home. <laughs> <laughs> 